Hey guys, Sarge here with the June 2nd, 1942 combat replay for my 1v1 against Invictus on War of the Pacific Admirals Edition. And for real life when this is going to be uploaded, Merry Christmas. Hopefully you got to spend time with your families and got stuff that you wanted. Let's see what happens today. Flotation issues on the destroyer hull. Onto the air morning phase. Let's try and skip all the submarine stuff. Ooh, reportedly hit a Japanese AK with a Catalina. That's nice. Had some marauders failed to link up, but they are proceeding anyway. Daily bombing begins. Come on, get to something else. There you go, going into Carnarvon, he's got float planes on cap, and we, B-17 shoots down to Pete at, at the start. Uh, looks like all the bombers get through. Uh, should be at least one, uh, what do you call it, float plane tender. There we go, Sanuki Maru. That's, that's two different ones. Let's go. <laughs> I don't even know. How many different ones? Is this three? Four AVs. Engine damage. N not a lot of special damage. Just like your standard damaging hits. We're also hitting... I hit, we hit a couple destroyers as well. Right, let's see. Uh, he lost a Pete. I lose no bombers. Yeah, four float plane tenders. Uh, the destroyer Inazuma, one bomb hit on fire. The Sanuki Maru took three hits on fire. The Kamoi, five hits, heavy fires, heavy damage. This is definitely sinking. Sanyu Maru, two hits, heavy fires. Most likely going to sink with Japanese fire damage control. Kunikawa Maru, one hit. And the Ikazuki one hit on fire. Also a few hits on the bases. Hopefully we get a bunch of AFV hits here. Uh, unfortunately only one destroyed, four more disabled. Nothing on that one. We had really good results with when it was just a few marauders. I bring more in and all of a sudden we can't hit anything. Really unfortunate. I was hoping to maul that tank regiment a lot more. Ooh, six more 17s come in. Skip the peat fit. Skip the fault planes. Hit the destroyer again. Got another one into an AV. Alright, that was two more, two more bomb hits. Yep, one more into the Inazuma, causing heavy fires, heavy damage. That's going to sink Kunikawa Maru on fire with another bomb hit. That was a really good result over Carnarvon. So isolated. I'm surprised he put so much assets there this late into the game. Onto the RPM phase. Reportedly hit a submarine. Two submarines off of Noumea. And it sounds like we shot down a recon plane as well. Bombing Quaylin with his 
I asked him what these were. He said they're basically uh, Japanese swordfish. Obsolete torpedo bombers. Going for base hits on Chang Te. And on Quailin. Basically, if I was going. I mean, it still uses supply to repair, but I'm not trying to get higher fort levels than they're already there. Alright, let's see. What do we got at Sui Young? Four Oscars destroyed on the ground. He has... He did bring... I think the AO was already there from... I remember from last turn. Potentially. But either way, uh, four Oscars destroyed on the ground. Four more airbase hits, 20 runway, one on supply. I should have ground troops getting there in a couple... In two... Two days? Should be into the land phase. Oh, yep, something sunk. It was probably AV at Carnarvon. Time for the daily bombardments. Come on, end already. 97 casualties, 225, I lose one squad. Bombarding at Chang Te. I lose one gun. Ooh, shock attack at Lu Chao. I should hold this. They got 4 to 1 odds? What? That was unexpected. I know it was clear terrain. But I thought it would be good enough to hold that one unit. And so he only takes one squad destroyed. I lose 76 squads, 89 comms, 11 engineers and 3 guns, 1,200 casualties. Uh, they retreated towards Quailin, so I'm just going to pop them into Quailin. There's an actual force there. And this was also just a sacrificial force to make him attack. The actual force for this area is in this hex right here in the... Times two terrain. Damn! Look, look at how mauled these divisions are. There's he really needs to have his Imperial Guard division somewhere else. This is not the place to have his best unit. And I just noticed that the unit markers are actually on the sides. Regiment is three lines, battalion is two lines, division is two X's. A company would be one line, a brigade would be one X. I never noticed that before. It's a really cool detail. That you really wouldn't notice. Yeah, core would core with the three X's, army would be four, and theater would be five, I believe. Uh, 62 casualties for the Japanese with one vehicle destroyed. I'm taking a real beating with the bombardments at Mall Mine. Four squads destroyed, one gun, two vehicles. He definitely has better artillery than I do. It may also be because I did stop my bombing raids there to, f to bomb other targets that he's not getting as disrupted. So his artillery is able to fare better. But I really can't sustain those gun losses. I mean, depending on what they are, so I'm not sure. I think a gun loss may even be a machine gun. I, th I think machine guns are AVE, though, so that wouldn't be... No, would it? I'm not sure, but losing a gun, two guns a day, in the same spot, nonetheless, is really not good. I'll get a... Destroyer, I'm moving these guys to Los Angeles because there's no aviation support where they came in. Uh, two squadrons at... New squadrons there. And looks like I got a couple of squadrons elsewhere. One was in Aiden. Uh, 
All right, Intel reports. Yep, there we go. On ground losses are for planes. Or also for if they were on a ship that sunk. He loses nine Peets, five Oscars, a Lily, Dinah. I lose a C-33 and a Blenheim. Ops reports. Expands Bangkok's fort to level five. Mississippi's available to be moved at Pago Pago. Alright, let's look at Santa Barbara and San Diego. Uh, dive Bomber Squadron. This was probably one that got destroyed during the first battle at... This, this may have been an Enterprise because it only has two planes from the Enterprise engagement. And right here, Santa Barbara. Yeah, another two planes. One was in Aden. Hurricane Two Seas. It's a brand new squadron. There's just no plane. They don't. I don't have Hurricane Two Seas enough to put a unit with them. I'll check second. Heavy volume at Ballet Poppin. Let's check over here. Oh, this, this actually has a pretty good amount of AV ready. Has 111. There we go, there's the number. Yeah, so m machine guns count towards AV, anti tank guns, mortars. And field guns, artillery count do not count towards AV, so those would be those wouldn't those would be the guns. So still 100 squads, 110 squads. Move that to Quaylin. Uh, he's still moving around this stack of eight. Jeez. Okay. Uh, how close are you? One, two days. I'll bomb this one more time because I'm not sure if, if it got all if there's more planes there or not. He's doing another weird thing here. He's pulling he's still pulling this back. British Brigade's kinda chasing. More or less just trying to take this position. Okay. Yeah, down here, let's see. Who got the kill? Which squadron got the kill? These guys did. It, it is given to A. Rhea? Ray? One kill. I will take that. I'm going to make sure to bomb again. Almost to Dally Waters there as well. And oh nice, this unit has reached Alice Springs. Set him to move mode. And start moving up towards Tennant Creek. Just to clear the road. Uh, this unit, has the 22nd East African Brigade, is going to be unloading at Rangoon. And that reminds me, let's check the unloads here. Now, so everything's... A lot got dumped. Yes, I... Okay, yeah, I, I'm not... I'll set these guys to unload this turn. I wanted to wait one turn for the other two to get off, because this is the anti-aircraft guns and the engineers and that's more important to get down right now yes yeah, so look at all this AA that I just plopped in look at all these engineers that will be able to more better facilitate future operations uh, Pago Pago this is what is currently left got these four that are at 
basically at readiness. And then I have three more battleships in here. I uh, can probably take this out of pier side to maybe cl clear up some personnel to work on the West Virginia and the Oklahoma. Again, it's just to get the system's damage down and any other non-major damage, especially with the Minneapolis here. And that major, that engine damage is going to make this ship so slow. Yeah. Two hexes per pulse. Escorting Oilers to Numea. He still does have this wall of submarines here. I need to find escorts for these guys. Holy shit. I just have five AOs out here with nobody. Okay. I'll detach one of you guys. <laughs> Detach one of them to speed up and get with the Euler task force. And this supply, the supplies are two days away from Port Moresby. I'm up to 48 ready fighters. I'll be, I'll be sure to put LR cap on as well. Check the weather for next turn. Oh, this turn. This, next, whatever. Uh, not, not where I need there to be good weather. All right, can't think of anything else, so I'm gonna end the episode here, and I'll see you guys in the next one.